Google is a multinational technology firm with 49,700 employees and $59.3 billion of revenue. Wait, what? Oh, you mean the other one, like 10 to the 100? Yes, well, that one is a bit more difficult to get a grasp on. To try and do so, imagine a small speck of pollen, one of the smallest things visible to the naked eye, clocking at only a hundredth of a millimeter in diameter. To make a line one kilometer long, you would need to put a hundred million specks of pollen back to back. On the other end of the spectrum, the Andromeda Galaxy is one of the largest things that can be seen by the naked eye. The distance between the Earth and the Andromeda Galaxy is 2.5 million light years. Converting to kilometers gives a distance of 2.4 times 10 to the 19th kilometers. Going back to our line of pollen, making a single line completely out of pollen specks that stretches to the Andromeda Galaxy would require 2.4 times 10 to the 27th specks. That's still more than 70 orders of magnitude off of a Google. Seeing as flat lines aren't really putting a dent into this gigantic number, let's make something with a bit more volume. Using the same 100th of a millimeter width for the depth and height of each speck gives us a volume of 1 millionth of a cubic millimeter. Again, converting it to kilometers, this time cubic will give us a much larger number, 10 to the 24th grains of pollen per cubic kilometer. Now, let's go back to the Andromeda Galaxy, but this time we'll make a cube out of the distance between it and Earth. Doing the calculations gives us a whopping total of 1.3 times 10 to the 82nd specks of pollen, a number that outclasses the estimated number of atoms in the visible universe. However, this number is still off of a Google by a factor of 77 quintillion. To get something that comes even somewhat close to the size of a Google, we have to take the volume of the observable universe, a respectable 4 times 10 to the 71st kilometers cubed, and fill it with pollen specks. This would give us a grand total of 4 times 10 to the 95th pollen specks. In order to have one Google of pollen specks, you would need to have something in the volume of 100,000 visible universes filled with pollen.